Welcome to our second RoboLogix tutorial series. This series will focus on application-specific features and instructions used in the four different environments provided in the RoboLogix simulation software package. In our first tutorial series, we created a pick-and-place program capable of picking up a box from Conveyor 1 and putting it down on Conveyor 2. In the course of making our pick-and-place program, we covered how to create and load an empty file, how to add instructions to your program file, how to jog to target locations, how to save those target locations to the position register. We also covered how to use the angular and linear motion instructions, as well as how to load and run your program. In addition to the pick-and-place application used in our first series of tutorial, RoboLogix comes with three additional application environments. In the first part of our second tutorial series, we'll be working with the spot welding application. In this application, cars are brought to the work envelope by conveyor. Two robot arms with spot welding end effectors are used to place spot welds at any target location specified in the user's program. When we look at the instruction set for the spot welding application, the vast majority of instructions contained there are also present in the pick and place application. In addition to these common core instructions, each environment contains a few targeted special purpose instructions. The control panel for each of these two environments are also very similar. There are, however, some significant differences. Most notably, the spot welding application doesn't contain camera view angle buttons. A camera keypad is provided, allowing the user to navigate around inside the environment. We'll be covering the spot weld, path weld, and car instructions in this animation. We'll begin with a simple program that uses the spot weld instruction. This program will place a spot weld at the location stored in the P1 position register memory location. An angular motion instruction is used with the data stored in the P0 position register memory location. This instruction is used to orient the tool center point for the spot weld. When the program begins, the tool center point gets rotated. This is to orient it for the first weld. The arm then moves to the spot weld instruction location stored at P1. The car forward instruction is then executed, bringing the next car on the line to the work envelope. Multiple instances of the spot weld instruction can be added to the program for use with additional locations stored in the position register. We're going to move on now and examine how the path weld instruction works, but first we have to edit our existing program and get rid of the spot weld instruction. To remove an instruction from a program, click on the line number to highlight the instruction. Next, Click on the Delete button. Confirming the selection removes the instruction from the program. Next, we need to define a path for use with the Path Weld instruction. We start by clicking on the Path button. Next, we select a path segment to edit. We then use the mouse to click on our desired weld locations. Multiple path segments can be defined in this manner. Once you've finished specifying weld locations, click on the path button again to save the information. We're now ready to move on and add the path weld instruction to our program. Click on the line number below the location to which you wish to insert a new instruction. Then click on the new button to bring up the instruction set. Select the path weld instruction to bring up the path weld dialog box. We define target locations in segments 1 and 3. We can weld either of these path segments individually by using the value 1 or 3 as the index, or we can use 0 to weld all defined paths in order. With the paths defined, 
All we need to do is click the Run button to execute the program and perform these four spot welds. We can now run the program and observe its operation. The two target locations we specified in Path Segment 1 will be spot welded first. The tool center point will then be moved to the area where Path Segment 3 was defined. Once the welding is completed, a new car will be brought to the work envelope. That brings our tutorial to an end. To recap, in our latest tutorial, we covered how to delete a program instruction, how to insert a new program instruction. We used the spot weld instruction with the target register location. We covered how to define a path, and we used the path weld instruction. In the next part of our series, we'll be looking at the arc welding application in RoboLogics.